Good evening, 47. I have the final profile available now. Your target is Tahiji Koyama, codenamed the Controller. He is the final living member of the Sigma paramilitary, and with his elimination, a particularly nasty chapter of recent history will be brought to a close. Hospital records indicate the target suffers a rare genetic disease, but also that he has refused two full bone marrow donations on ethical grounds so far. Interesting. Clients at this particular hospital are not usually picky about where their life-extending therapy comes from. While I have confirmed that he has learned of the deaths of the other members of Sigma, he does not seem to have altered his security arrangements or movement patterns in any meaningful way. Regardless, the hospital is highly secure and it will be difficult to move freely. So I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido, 47. I have received a priority update from the client. He has learned that the Sigma operations files will be destroyed if you are spotted during the operation. Therefore, you should consider acquiring them before moving on the target, but I will leave that to your discretion. How are you, Mr. Director? that. A staff transfer, I think. And it seems that no one knows that you are here. Your reputation is entirely deserved. It is an honor to meet a true professional. <coughs> I have been waiting for you. <coughs> and you are here in time. For that, I am very thankful. It would have been inappropriate for me to die before you came for me. I am prepared. We were young men. 
<laughs> full of the arrogance of power. But what we did there in Siesta Polye, it was not a mistake. We did it willingly, we six. Sarno gave the orders, but we did it willingly. <coughs> Even I. We killed them and took the gold. One and a half tons of gold. Being <coughs> moved from Belgrade. Six trucks with refugees aboard to protect them from the airstrikes. <coughs> Killed them all, and then called in helicopter gunships on what was left. Ten million dollars was my share. It was only later that I realized <coughs> that I was no longer a man. <coughs> the others could not see it, or perhaps would not see it. It haunted me for years until finally it became clear <coughs> that I must use my remaining time to atone. My old friend Loxley told me of the ICA and what you can do. <coughs> the cost was irrelevant. I placed all six contracts and I watched as you carried them out. Then I fell ill. I feared that I would die before my time. Thankfully, your reputation for timeliness is entirely deserved. As you are aware, the staff have my files in safekeeping. They will destroy them in the event of an emergency. But I am sure you will not be noticed after we are finished here. <coughs> Arrangements have been made to publicize the files widely. The actions of Sigma and Cicada must be known. Thank you for allowing me to speak my piece, sir. Please complete the final contract now. hospital entrance. I've pieced the chain of contracts together, 47. All six targets were part of the Sigma Mercenary Unit, operating near the city of Siestopolia in Serbia in late 1995. They learned of a convoy transporting one and a half tons of gold out of Belgrade under cover of a refugee column. They attacked the convoy and stole the gold and called in a NATO airstrike. It was reported as an accidental attack at the time, a sideshow in that dirty conflict. Ironically, the final target was also declined. A complicated way to commit suicide, I'm sure. I have forwarded the files you retrieved as per the contract's instructions. I'm not sure what that will achieve, however. A wartime massacre in the 90s. Fortune in gold. And two decades later, six men die. No one will notice this. 